Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my another video session wherein you will see how to extract the data from the multiple PDF files which, which are present in the folder using OpenAI Chat GPT and its integration with Automation 360. So before we start our session for the day, I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. So without any further delay, let us start our session for the day. So now let us get started with the practical implementation. So first of all, log into your automation anywhere with your bot creator credentials. So once you log into your bot creator credentials in Automation Anywhere, then you will be redirected to this page, wherein you will have to click on the Automation tab. And then once you click on the Automation tab, you will be redirected to the Automation page, wherein you will have to click on the Create a Taskbot option. And once you click on Create a Taskbot option, you will have to define the name to your Taskbot as Extract PDF Data from multiple file. So this is the name that I am giving to my taskbot. So you can give the name as per your choice or convenience. So once you define the name to your taskbot, click on create and edit. So once you click on create and edit, the workspace area will be opened. So over here, the first step of action that you need to do is to drag and drop the loop action from the loop package. So drag and drop the loop action from the loop package and over here select the loop type as for each file in folder. So once you select the for each file in folder uh, iterator, copy the folder path that is till the purchase order folder since the purchase order is the final destination folder from where we have to select the files. And over here, copy the path in the folder path location and store the output in a dictionary variable that is we, uh, that is files in folder variable of type dictionary. So, and once you define the name to your variable, then click on create and select and then click on the save button. Now, once you have defined the loop, the next step is to extract the data from the PDF file. So in order to extract the data from the PDF file, you need to drag and drop the extract text action from the PDF package. So drag and drop the extract text action and in the properties section, select the desktop file tab and then click on the browse button. So once you click on the browse button, the file explorer window will be opened. From here, you need to select the file from the specified folder that is purchase order 1 folder and then select any file. Now instead of purchase order 1.pdf, we will pass our dictionary variable that, that we have created in the previous step. So remove this purchase order, uh, so remove this purchase order 1 file. And over here, pass in the dictionary variable that is files in folder and then pass in the, pass in the dictionary key as name. Now instead of PDF, we will pass in the dictionary key as extension. So select the dictionary variable again that is files in folder and then the dictionary key as extension and then click on yes insert. And the type of text that you need to extract is the plain text which is already selected. Then we need to export this data to a text file. So in order to export the data to the text file, select the text file. And then click on the browse button in order to select the text file. So our file name is PDF data extract. So we will select this file. And then once you select this file, click on this checkbox that is overwrite files with the same name and then store the output in a dictionary variable again and we will define the name to our dictionary variable that is vpdf output data and then over here click on create and select 
and then click on the save button. So now once our data is extracted to this text file, the next step of action that we need to do is to open this text file. So in order to open the text file, you need to select the open action from the file package. So drag and drop the open action from the file package and then specify the text file path from the file explorer. So our file is located in the desktop location. So select the file from the desktop location and then click on the save button. So now once the file is also selected, the next step of action that we have to do is to select and copy the data. So in order to select and copy the data, you need to use the simulate keystroke action. So drag and drop the simulate keystroke the simulate keystroke action from the simulate keystroke package and over here select the application tab in the property section and then click on the refresh window. So once you click on the refresh window, the list of available windows or the open windows will be available in this drop down. So click on this drop down and select the notepad window or the notepad application and in order to select the data, we need to use the control A as the keystroke. So select the control keystroke and then pass in A and then click on the save button. Now in order to copy the data, copy the simulate keystroke action again. And this time instead of control A, we will pass in the keystroke as control C. So over here instead of just A, pass in C as the uh, keystroke and then click on the save button. Once the data is copied to the clipboard variable, the next step that we need to perform is to use the string assign action. So from the string package, drag and drop the assign action and in the source variable, select the clipboard variable that is in which we, in which we have copied the data. So select the clipboard variable and append this data that is I want the, I want data from above content as below as only that is item description and quantity and store this source value in a variable of type string that is vstr body and then click on create and set and then click on the save button so once this is done the next step that the next step that we need to use is to use the replace action so drag and drop the replace action from the string package. Select the source string as vstr body. In the find string put slash n and it will be a regular expression and we will replace it with a blank and store the output in a same variable that is vstr body and then click on the save button. So once you are done with this, the next step that we need to use is to use the REST web services. So from this REST web services package, drag and drop the post action or the post method and enter the URI that is, that is the URI API. So copy the API and paste it over here and then the next thing that we need to define is the header. So in the header, add the header as authorization. And then copy the bearer key or the API key. So how to generate the API? I have already explained this in, in my previous video for which I will share the link in the description tab. So once the once the uh, API key is added, then you need to click on the add button. The next thing that you need to add is the parameters. So in the parameters, you need to add this content that is this part. Copy and paste it into the parameter field. And then, and then store the output in a dictionary variable. So create a dictionary variable that is v api body and then click on create and select and then click on the save button the next thing that we need to do is to use the uh, or is to display the message 
So in order to display what the response has been generated from the uh, API, we will use the message bot. So drag and drop the message bot section. And in the enter the message to display field, give the value as v API body and the dictionary key as body. And then click on yes insert. And then click on the save button. So now let us see the execution of the bot to check whether the bot that we have created is performing as per to our expectation or not. So in order to run the bot, you need to click on the run button. So once you click on the run button, the bot agent service will be invoked and the bot will start to execute on the machine on which you are running the bot. So first of all, it will download or extract the data from the PDF file into the text file. From where the data will be selected and copied into a clipboard variable. And then it will crawl the API to generate the response with the help of API that we have used. So this is the response which has been generated with the API. In the next message box, you will see the values from the table being generated or being written in or being shown in the message box. So this is how you can extract the tabular field data from PDF file with the help of OpenAI chat GPT integration with Automation 360. So if you have any queries regarding this video, then you can raise your queries in the comment section and I will be more than happy to answer all your queries. Last but not the least, before we wind up our session for the day, I request every one of you to I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. Thank you all and have a great day.